Back in 2002, the GameCube was the new hotness that many people proclaim to be the greatest console of all time, but few people have ever actually bought. Capcom, making a huge mistake, decided to sign an exclusivity agreement with Nintendo to bring the Resident Evil series to the new home at Nintendo's lunchbox. The first game on the agenda? A remake of the original Resident Evil. The Resident Evil remake wasn't just a hit. It redefined what a video game remake could be, setting the bar ridiculously high. It was so revered that Capcom didn't touch the remake formula for another 17 years. Fast forward to today, and we're in the midst of a new Resident Evil renaissance, with remakes seemingly more anticipated than new entries in the series. In 2019, Capcom graced us with the Resident Evil 2 remake, and it blew our collective minds. It wasn't just a rehash, it was a complete overhaul that remained eerily faithful to the original vibe. The claustrophobic police station, the creepy sewers, every setting dialed up the tension, proving you could teach an old zombie new tricks. But then, in 2020, came the Resident Evil 3 remake, and well, it's a bit more of a mixed bag. Not a disaster, but it couldn't escape the shadow of its predecessor. Smaller scale, reused assets, and a pace that leaned too hard in action left many of us wanting. Plus, Jill's constant quips. If she's not gonna take the apocalypse seriously, how are we supposed to? <sighs> Fuck you. Capcom took a couple of years off, and then gave us the Resident Evil 4 remake in 2023. About to drop a hot take on you. The original Resident Evil 4 is overrated. Yeah, I said it. An escort mission with an annoying princess, Leon's too cool for school attitude, and a departure from the true Resident Evil horror, kinda didn't like it. Wasn't bad, but you know, not the GOAT. The remake though, that's a different beast. Gone is the over-the-top Leon, replaced with a more grounded, less quippy protagonist. The gameplay, tighter. The gunplay, more satisfying. Ashley, previously a walking screeching help signal, got a much needed upgrade. In the remake, she's less whiny and doesn't act like a seven-year-old anymore. And let's be honest, she's kinda hot. Okay look, everyone's got their type, and apparently, this is mine. Come on, you don't see me giving you shit for being in the Zangief, do you? And let's talk about Sadler. Still your textbook Resident Evil villain, and he's dumb as a rock, but at least he isn't as campy anymore. So what's next for the Resident Evil remake machine? Resident Evil 5? Uh, alright. Code Veronica? I, I guess. Let's not talk about Resident Evil Zero. How about we do a remake of the remake? We've seen what Capcom can do when they really nail it, and I'd like to see them take another crack at that one. What do you think about the Resident Evil remakes? Is Capcom revitalizing classics, or are they just milking nostalgia? Drop your comments below.